hi all welcome to my channel data wisdom today we are going to discuss what are the parallelism techniques available into ab initio which provides us a facility to process huge data into chunks okay so basically there are three parallelism techniques available into ab initio first is pipeline parallelism second is data parallelism and third is component parallelism okay so by default ab initio runs into pipeline parallelism techniques which says suppose if we are reading data from this customer file and then we have few components running one after the another and they are populating data into updated customer file now what happens is when duplicate is processing record number 100 okay the component which is after the duplicate it is processing record number 99 that means as soon as first record is processed from one component it is being processed into the component which is connected to its output right that way it is not breaking any data flow and one after another our data will be processed and it will get populated into updated customers file okay so whenever we create any graph into ab initio by default it runs into par pipeline parallelism technique now the second is component parallelism where we say different set of components may work on different data or same data parallelly so if we see this reformat names component is reading data from customer whereas cleans component is reading data from our transactions file right so since these components are not connected to each other they are not into different phases they can run into parallel mode right so the data from customer and transaction file will be read parallelly by different components different transformations might have been applied on them and at the end it will populate our customer transaction file so into component parallelism we say different set of components are working on either different data or same data and they are not dependent on each other and parallelly processing okay now the third parallelism technique that is comes into consideration as data parallelism where we say different set of components are working on different set of data parallelly and they are populating the output files okay so if we'll see into data parallelism we have process one process two process three so these are virtually distributed into three partitions right so data parallelism can be achieved by implementing multi-file systems where we have a control partition and few data partition and all the chunks of data can be processed parallelly setting the layout of our components okay so how can we achieve data parallelism we can achieve it by implementing multi-file system okay so we can create a multi-file system into app initio which consists of two partitions basically first is your data partition and second is your control partition okay now the con in control partition the file consists the paths of all of its data partition okay so control partition won't actually have data into it but it has the path to all of our data partitions and these data partitions will be having actual data which is being processed into different partitions okay so how can we create multi-file system what is a multi-file what is a data partition what is control partition right what are the commands to operate with these multi-files we'll see into our examples okay so multi-file system or multi-file directories right first for implementing any multi-file system first we'll have to create a multi-file system okay multi-file system can be n way mfs it could be two way it could be three way it could be four way it could be eight way it could be 16 way and likewise okay so we can create a multi-file system into ab initio using command m underscore mkfs then you will have to give path of your control partition and then how many number of data partition do you want to generate okay so into the example below i am creating a two-way mfs called data and the data partitions would be into data one and data two so this location will consist a file which will have paths of this data one and data two and into this folders i'll be having my actual data 
okay once you have created a multi file system you can create an empty multi file using command m underscore touch okay so into this command m underscore touch you will have to give your control partition path right and then the file name sample.txt so what it will do it will create a control file into this particular location called sample.txt as well as it will create two data partition into data1 and data2 folders okay with the name sample.txt okay if you want to view data of a multi file you can use command m underscore cat and then your control partition name or the control file name okay so what it will do at the back end it will go to this control file it will check what all data paths are available it will go to those data paths and it will get, will get the record count from there okay now we have word count for word count you can use a command called m underscore wc here you will have to provide your dml name as well as the control file name okay if you want to delete any multi file the command would be m underscore rm okay if you simply use rm command and if we give this data data partition file name or the control partition file name then it will only remove that control partition and your data partitions will be as is okay if you want to delete your control partition as well as all the related data partition use the command m underscore rm okay m underscore rm will remove this control partition as well as all the associated data partition with this if you want to copy one multi file into another multi file you can use command m underscore cp the file that you want to copy and the second file name in which you want to copy the data if you want to rename your multi file use command m underscore mv then your data partition control partition name and where you want to move it or and what do you want to rename it to okay so it will rename your multi file okay we'll see examples using our gd how can we create multi file system how do we touch a multi file how do we copy a multi file and how do we rename a multi file okay so let's go to our gd for running these commands you will have to press f8 which will open and command prompt for you to execute your ab initio commands into it okay so first we wanted to create this multi file system okay so we'll we'll use command m underscore mkfs data i want to create mfs three way and i want to create data three so this command should create a control file location into mfs three directory into data and then it should create our three data partitions which will be linked to this particular control partition let's run this command it says running it says it says data one already exists okay so this partitions would have been already present so let's rename it to data z and we'll create this data z okay so this is execution is done now we'll go to mfs source mfs3 and see whether it has created control partition or not so it has created a control partition for us we'll see we'll touch a uh, an empty multi file over here and we'll see where does it create its data partition okay so what do we want to do for this we'll use a command so we'll keep copying these commands okay so this command create three way multi file system now we'll create a multi file for this we'll use a command called m underscore touch and we'll give this control file location and name of our multi file okay 
if you'll see we are not giving any data partition path over here we are simply saying m underscore touch your control file path and control file name execute this command it is executed we'll go to the data side we'll see a sample.txt file has been touched we'll open it and this file it contains location of these three data partitions okay so we'll go to d drive ab initial training we'll go to d drive ab initial training and here we have data z1 data z2 and data z3 folders created okay if you open this file sample.txt this is partition 0 or data z1 partition it is empty similarly we'll be having into data z2 and right, sorry data z2 here also we have sample.txt so these are the data partitions created okay so we can create a multi-file using m underscore touch command now if you want to copy a multi-file we'll use a command m underscore cp I want to copy this multi file into name called sample c dot date txt. Okay, we'll run this command into ab initio. Now it will copy. this sample into sample z dot that now if we'll see the data partition names have been changed location is still the same name has been changed and if we'll go to this data z partition directory we'll have our file present all right similarly if we want to rename this file okay so now what i want to do i want to rename a multi file suppose i want this sample c to rename into sample o okay we'll use command m underscore mv not to have any show execute this command now sample z should be renamed to sample o okay we'll go to our control path now see we do not have a sample z file instead we have sample o and similarly its data partitions are also renamed see we have sample o okay similarly you can use commands as m underscore rm to remove a multi file m underscore wc to get the record count of that multi file m underscore cat to view the actual data of these multi file system or mfs file okay once we implement this multi file system it will distribute our data into multiple partitions and this partition data can be processed parallelly using data parallelism techniques okay so